Hi everyone, today we're back renovating the abandoned storage units. I'm on my way over to the property, I actually had a half dozen contractors already give me a call that they're here which is awesome. That's great to see here you guys can see it is going to be a busy day here for us. We are actually going to be doing a lot of construction today which should be a lot of fun here, a lot of building. But before we get going on that, I do just want to give you guys a quick update on the progress here. You guys can see we have a lot more machines, a lot more trucks and contractors here at the job site. So you guys can see we have all the materials because today I am going to be digging the foundation for two more here. We are going to be doubling the size of the storage unit complex, which it means it's going to be a lot more profitable and we're going to have a lot more units to rent out. But you guys can see they really got all of these cleaned up here a little bit more touch up to do and you guys can see they're now putting garage doors on these which is sweet and this one here behind this box truck was actually uh, what was abandoned with just the framing there so you guys can see they got the side and they got everything on and we're working on a new one over here you guys can see they're up there wow there's so many workers and we have two more foundations in all ready to go. So they're going to be working on getting these frames, if possibly, uh, put sodding on those here. So that is awesome. Great progress. I mean, there's just so many moving pieces here too. But before we actually uh, get going on working on the foundation, looks like they need some supplies up there. So why don't we hop in the JLG uh, uh, forklift here. Let's uh, bring this over there and we'll lift up the pallet for them. This project, guys, is one of our bigger projects, which is actually a lot of fun. I, I like these challenges. This one, we had a, to do a lot of permitting here. A lot of different contractors uh, are helping us out here, which is awesome here. Definitely have to uh, kind of uh, be good at managing all the different ones here. But we'll lift the pallet up to him. We'll just, let's see if we can slowly reach this up out. This is a lot easier than carrying board by board up a ladder or even through that here. Now, the other thing I want to do to make it a little bit easier on us is to put the stabilizers down. And then after that, we'll uh, get going. Awesome, so that is perfect. That gives a little bit more stability, especially as they're taken up off that pallet. I think that will help us on out here, but let's hop in the excavator. Let's get that thing up and running here. Now, we only have to dig the foundation over here, not the slab uh, area just yet. Here, you guys can see we are going to be doing a block foundation just like what we currently have, and it's the same dimensions here. So this caterpillar is going to be uh, getting used quite a bit today. If you do have any ideas here for this a little mini series here, let me know. Now in the open areas, guys, we're actually going to have some open uh, storage for some RV parking, things like that, that can't really fit inside the storage units. So that is a plan there, which I think is a pretty good plan. And I just really want to maximize every square footage of this property here because that is how we're going to be the most profitable here. And I did decide I'm going to be keeping this at, uh, with the homeowner series as a kind of a way of us to get a rental property and have a monthly income coming in from this since. Uh, this should be a lot of fun. So you guys will be seeing updates, things like that uh, uh, from the homeowner series once the project's finished. I'm finishing up the last corner here of the excavation here for we only have to go down about four feet for frost and they are going to get going on this here. Now these are just slabs uh, for concrete for the flooring uh, which we're going to do once the foundation is in. So I think we're all set here. We'll move the excavator off to the side here but we've concrete arriving here. Let's see it looks like they're going to be arriving in about an hour and a half here. So we need to go get these uh, floors over here ready. So why don't we hop in the skids here. I believe we have to spread some gravel and why will we do that? They're going to be working hard over here and laying all those those uh, blocks uh, for the foundation.
It's one busy job site today. I just asked if they can move the uh, lift around here so I could get inside the unfinished framing area here so we could put down some gravel here. But this is a lot of fun, guys. I always like to keep busy here on projects. And this one is, is I think, one of the cooler ones we've done here. But you guys can see we're laying gravel. I have someone going behind me, hand raking all the corners. But we are almost ready for concrete here. I think it's going to be like three trucks at the least, I think. I ordered four trucks just so we have a little bit extra in case we do need it here. I'd rather order more and uh, send it back uh, than to have not enough here. Have to wait probably upwards of a half hour. Working inside the building like this is a little bit trickier here. There's a little bit more shade here, but also I do just want to be careful here. I want to make sure I don't take out any of the framings, especially over the garage door opener. But having a handy skid seal like this is really handy here. But I think... I just got a text message said concrete is one minute away. Awesome. So let's wait for concrete to arrive here and let's help them out. Concrete's here. I'm picking up the camera just after lunch, and a lot of progress has been made here. Not only did we get both these concrete floors poured, we got the framing up, and the guys already finished over here on this side. They finished the siding, they did the roofing, and uh, the garage door company is here putting in three garage doors, which is awesome progress. I mean, so many moving pieces like I did touch upon here, but coming over here, you guys can see looks like uh, they only have about half a pallet left here. Uh, they got uh, this foundation in and this one. We have to wait about a week or so before we could build on that here. Now, one more thing, guys. We will be putting one more, one more building where this uh, GMC topic is. So, yeah, we are adding so much to it. But it's going to be well worth it here. But we actually have some supplies arriving here. Some more lumber and some drywall and siding here. So let's wait for that to arrive and help them get it unloaded. The delivery man's about halfway done here, but guys, I think I'm going to call it a day. Once he's done unloading here, I'm going to go give a hand here, help out, put the framing in for the next one. And I think I'll catch you back maybe sometime next week for the next part of the project here. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.